This for the for bulls and tech, for bulls and cybersecurity, this is exactly what we want to see. But I do believe consolidation, this is just a drum roll. Get out the popcorn. We're gonna have a lot of MA in cybersecurity. You thought about that Google Wiz deal, which ultimately didn't happen, but this is a start. They'll be an acquirer, mm-hmm. but there's gonna be many acquirees in terms of where I see in the sector. When, especially when look what's happened in the cloud. I think Microsoft, Amazon, Google, mm-hmm. they will aggressively potentially look at cybersecurity. And also when you think about the overall FTC, con, wherever that heads from an antitrust perspective, potentially more M&A in big tech, stronger and getting stronger. And if you look at what's happened in cybersecurity, this is really one of the best barometers mm-hmm. in terms of what we see in overall IT spend. Mm-hmm. We'll have Salesforce and some others, but if you're a bull, from a you know from an overall tech perspective, this is exactly what you wanted to hear in terms of barometer. I am curious in terms of the IT spend. I've heard people basically say that a lot of corporations. Over the past month, five industry analysts have shared their insights on this stock, proposing an average target price of twenty five dollars and sixty cents. An analyst from Wedbush has revised its rating downward to outperform, adjusting the price target to thirty five dollars. Uh, AI revolution. Yeah. That has to be protected. Cybersecurity is going to be a second, third derivative of the AI revolution. So Palo Alto, they continue to play chess while others play checkers, and I think what they're doing is really skating to where this is all going. Yeah. And look for this for them for this quarter. Mm-hmm. Remember, you go back. They had two quarters ago. They had a pretty you know soft quarter. Yeah. This is a huge validation. Palantir Technologies 2.75% gave investors even more good news when it announced an expanded partnership with Microsoft. The aim is to sell analytic and artificial intelligence AI services to various defense and intelligence agents agencies within the federal government. In terms of what we're seeing in more and more movements to the cloud, cyber is actually a benefit. Names like CyberArk, Checkpoint. I think Palo Alto, it's, it's actually one of our top names the, the last few years. That's going to benefit not just Palantir, it's going to benefit Oracle, it's going to benefit a lot of the cybersecurity names, names like Zscale, names like Palo Alto. And that is going to be for the September quarter, important, especially in that fiscal year end. An analyst from Deutsche Bank persists with their sell rating on Palantir Technologies, maintaining a target price of $21. Consistent in their evaluation, an analyst from Citigroup keeps a neutral rating on Palantir Technologies with a target price of $28. Consistent in their evaluation. Checkpoint, CyberArk. Pow out though. This is really actually just the beginning of really the second, third stages. What I view as sort of this AI revolution. Cybersecurity is going to be a big beneficiary there. So I think it's a subsector, could be the best outperformer going into year end. Mm, and something I think that. Its commercial revenue climbed 33% to $307 million, and it added 33 net new customers in its US commercial business during the quarter gets overlooked sometimes, you and I have talked about it, sure. is the growing government book of business for yeah. some of these cybersecurity names. I mean, you saw it, they're in a different piece of the AI software business, data analytics, Palantir, but you've seen it with Palantir recently as well. How meaningful is it to be seeing the federal government dole out more? PLTR gave investors even more good news when it announced an expanded partnership with Microsoft. The aim is to sell analytic and artificial intelligence AI services to various defense and intelligence agencies within the federal government. Are these contracts? I, I mean, you are, and we've talked, the 202 area code, it is just a different mojo that we're seeing from a spending perspective. Look, Pow out the messy of AI, you saw it firsthand in terms of what they're doing. Government is now really more and more focused on AI, next generation technology. It has seen a bit of a rebound this year, with total government revenue growth of 23% year over year to $371 million in the second quarter in US. Government growth of 24% to $278 million. That's going to benefit not just Palantir, it's going to benefit Oracle, it's going to benefit a lot of the cybersecurity names, names like Zscale, names like Palo Alto, and that is going to be for the September quarter, important, especially in that fiscal year end. Miracle Mile Advisors, LLC, acquires 1,420 shares of Palantir Technologies, Inc. Insider activity and related news, Insider David A. Glazer sold 72,500 shares of the firm's stock in a transaction on Wednesday, August 14th. Behind the scenes of Palantir Technologies' latest options trends this activity came to our attention today through Benzinger's tracking of publicly available options data. The identities of these investors are uncertain, but such a significant move in PLTR often signals that someone has privileged in re-report by 10.4% in the second quarter, according to its most recent Form 13F filing with the Securities and Exchange Committee.
I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking. Plus all these benefits. Click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. Is Palantir the best artificial intelligence AI stock to buy amid a market sell-off? While 20% profit margins may be fantastic for some businesses, software companies can often post much better figures with some of the best converting 30% of revenue into profits. Also, 28 times sales is a very pricey amount for Palantir. While it's growing quickly, any time a stock's price to sales ratio is greater than its revenue growth rate, it indicates a very expensive stock. But could this still be a reasonable price to pay? Palantir has proved the strength of its technology, but the one thing that keeps many investors cautious is its valuation. Is Palantir Technologies a no-brainer buy after posting record numbers? A big concern I had with Palantir in the past was that its growth rate simply wasn't showing enough progress despite all of management's claims of incredible demand due to artificial intelligence AI. Palantir, after all, had hundreds of boot camps with potential customers to showcase its AI-powered platform, AIP. Will a new Microsoft partnership help launch Palantir's stock to the moon? Days after reporting strong second quarter results, Palantir Technologies NIC. The firm owned 15,010 shares of the company's stock after acquiring an additional 1,420 shares during the period. The stock was sold at an average price of $31.18 for a total value of $2,260,550.00. Following the completion of the sale, the insider now owns 298,012 shares of the company's stock, valued at $9,292,014.16. Palantir CEO Alex Karp is not going to apologise in a lengthy New York Times profile. Karp told writer Maureen Dowd that the company has a consistently pro-Western view and that its critics believe we should appease Iran, Russia and China. I'm not going to apologise for defending the US. Government on the border, defending the special ops, bringing the people home. AMD or Palantir? Finbold asked ChatGPT which stock is a better buy for the second half of 2024 AI's take on Palantir. It's worth noting that Palantir current bullish momentum emerged after the company beat analysts' estimates for Q2 2024 earnings. Looking to boost federal government sales the US. Government has long been Palantir's largest customer, although its growth has become a weak spot for the company. Total government revenue growth, including foreign governments, slowed to 19% in 2022 and only 14% in 2020 Is the stock a buy? Palantir has proved the strength of its technology, but the one thing that keeps many investors cautious is its valuation. The stock trades at a forward price to sales ratio PS of about 20 times based on 2025 analyst estimates. For a company growing revenue by under 30%, that is quite an expensive multiple. To justify that, it would need to accelerate it beyond 30%. Volume Open Interest Trends Examining the volume and open interest provides crucial insights into stock research. This information is key in gauging liquidity and interest levels for Palantir Technologies as options at certain strike prices. Below, we present a snapshot of the trends in volume and open interest for calls and puts across Palantir Technologies as significant trades within a strike price range of $10 to $40 over the past month. Is Palantir Technologies Inc. the best AI stock in Kathy Wood's latest portfolio? Kathy Wood's flagship fund is continuing to face steep losses amid a broader pullback in technology stocks. Wood's flagship fund Arc Innovation ETF is down about 18% so far this year and has lost about 75% of its value since hitting its peak in 2021. However, the latest data shows that the innovation-focused investor bought the dip on tech stocks after the latest sell-off that shook financial markets globally. Kathy Wood's latest stake value $329,875,108. Why is Palantir stock soaring today? What is the market telling us Palantir's shares are very volatile and over the last year have had 33 moves greater than 5%? In context of that, today's move is indicating the market considers this news meaningful, but not something that would fundamentally change its perception of the business. 
The previous big move we wrote about was eight days ago, when the stock gained 19.3% on the news that the company reported a beat and raise quarter. Palantir blew past analysts' revenue, billings, and adjusted operating income expectations during the quarter. Analysts are bullish on Palantir Technologies Inc. after game-changing Microsoft deal last month, Roger McNamee of Elevation Partners, while talking to CNBC, highlighted a report from Goldman Sachs that said returns of AI investments might fail to meet investors' expectations. The amount of capital investment in this sector, which is billions of dollars now, is so large that it's almost unimaginable that we are going to get a rate of return over the next few years that justifies the amount of investment McNamee said. Talking to Bloomberg, JP Morgan Asset Management's Number of hedge fund investors 45 in Palantir Wedbush analyst Dan Ives thinks the partnership could be game-changing especially within the federal sector. Ives expects a significant acceleration in AI adoption across the Department of Defense and beyond over the next 12 to 18 months. Ives reiterated his outperform rating and $38 price target for Palantir. Palantir Technologies Inc.'s stunning growth posted in the second quarter results and long-term trends show it's a promising AI software stock. During the June quarter, Overall revenue rose 27% year-over-year, while U.S. commercial revenue grew by a whopping 55%. What Dan Ives said about Palantir Palantir has been making headlines, not just for its soaring stock price, but for its stellar quarterly performance. Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives has dubbed Palantir the messy of AI, suggesting the company's recent results are nothing short of a game-changer. Ives sees Palantir as a leading player in the AI market, with its AI solutions paving the way for global use cases. Also, Cathy Wood's ARK Invest added fuel to the fire by increasing its stake in Palantir, buying up significant shares amid a market downturn. This endorsement from a major player in the investment world further solidifies Palantir's position as a top AI contender. Indicators paint a bullish picture for Palantir stock the current price of $30.08 is comfortably above key moving averages, including the 8-day SMA of $27.15, the 20-day SMA of $27.47, and the 50-day SMA of $25.97. This positions the stock firmly in bullish territory. The price is also well above the 200-day SMA of $21.88, reinforcing the positive outlook. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD indicator, with a reading of 0.61, supports the bullish trend, indicating ongoing buying momentum. However, how fair value estimate for Palantir stock by morning start with its two-star rating, we believe Palantir stock is overvalued compared with our long-term fair value estimate of $19 per share. We forecast Palantir's revenue to grow at a 22% compound annual growth rate over the next five years as the firm expands both governmental and commercial operations. We expect the majority of this top-line growth to be driven by commercial clients as the firm seeks to broaden its commercial client base. While government clients can be sticky, large governmental contracts create lumpiness in revenue. Economic moat rating of Palantir explained by analyst we assign Palantir a narrow moat, owing primarily to strong switching costs associated with its platforms and secondarily to intangible assets in the form of strong customer relationships the firm has built over the years. We think Palantir's two main platforms, Gotham and Foundry, both benefit from high customer switching costs, as evidenced by its gross and net retention metrics. Risk and uncertainty of Palantir explained by analyst they see ad we assign Palantir a very high uncertainty rating due to some key risks that we view as potentially impeding its growth trajectory. While the firm has landed high value commercial and government clients over the years, we have found the executive team's execution to be questionable at best. The firm's sales strategy has led to relatively poor customer acquisition. Despite it being in the commercial space for many years, Palantir's commercial customer count is only slightly more than 200. In a survey done today, Palantir bulls say Palantir has strong secular tailwinds, as the AIML market is expected to grow rapidly due to the exponential increase in data harvested by organizations. With products targeting both commercial and governmental clients, Palantir has a distributed top line, with non-cyclical governmental revenue insulating the overall top line during lean times. Palantir's focus on modular sales could lead to substantially more commercial clients, which it could subsequently upsell. In a survey done today, Palantir bears say by not selling to countries or companies that are antithetical to its mission and cultural values, Palantir has self-restricted its growth opportunities.
Palantir's AI platform is off to a good start, but we anticipate robust competition in the years ahead. Palantir's executive team has made questionable strategic decisions in the past. While past performance isn't necessarily indicative of future results, the missteps could merit caution. Microsoft AI-driven alliance with Palantir could propel their stock to new record highs and set new standards in data analytics. Microsoft and Palantir Technologies have formed a partnership to incorporate Palantir's advanced AI analytics into Microsoft's Azure Cloud platform. After a significant drop in stock value, Microsoft rebounded above the $400 level, indicating renewed optimism. After experiencing a tough period with a 17% drop in stock value between July and early August, hitting the high of 2023 at $384 before finding support, the collaboration with Palantir seems to mark a turning point. Palantir's software has seen increased demand recently. Palantir has been selling AI software for much longer than most of its competitors, which gives it a leg up on its competition. It started off as a software program intended for government use, with the simple concept of data in and insights out. This helped guide real-time decision-making by ensuring the people making the choices had the best possible information in front of them. Eventually, Palantir expanded this software to the civilian side and has grown steadily since then. But it's IIP that is causing Palantir's sales to rapidly increase. Palantir's stock isn't cheap. It's no secret that Palantir is a phenomenal business with strong growth. This has led to the stock being valued at a hefty premium. While 20% profit margins may be fantastic for some businesses, software companies can often post much better figures with some of the best converting 30% of revenue into profits. Also, 28 times sales is a very pricey amount for Palantir. While it's growing quickly, any time a stock's price to sales ratio is greater than its revenue growth rate, it indicates a very expensive stock.